Okay, hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the childhood days in Kalamba, our national hero. We're in, we're going to talk about his childhood memories during his childhood days in Kalamba, Laguna. And we all know that Kalamba, Laguna is the native land of our national hero. Okay, so since we are going to talk about Kalamba, Laguna, Gato Serizal wrote a poem when he was 15 years old uh, all about his uh, native land, which is the Kalamba Laguna. And he entitled this poem as Un Recuerdo a Mi Pueblo. So in English language, it is translated into uh, In Memory of My Town. So it uh, talks about his uh, observation and then um, description of what Kalamba looks like ano po, during his childhood days and at the same time, how it is important to him to become part of this, uh, to become uh, part of his childhood in Kalamba, Laguna. Okay, so next is the earliest, uh, we are now going to talk about first the earliest childhood memories of our national here. So dito, the first thing or the first thing we're going to learn uh, from Gato Sir Rizal according to his childhood memoirs is the first memory of Rizal, which is during his infancy, was ha happy days, according to him, in the family garden when he was uh, three years old. Because during that time, uh, meron kasi ang ginawa yung tatay ni Gato Sir Rizal, kay Rizal po nangipahat, which is, as at that time, yun din yung ginagawa niyang place para makapagbanding sila. So during Shesta time, uh, isa ito sa mga lugar na pinagpapahingahan po ni Rizal, yung garden nila, ano po, so, dito, uh, his father built a nipa hat cottage or nipa cottage in the garden for him to play in the data. So, this is what I'm talking about earlier. So, a kind, wom a kind old woman was employed as an aya or yaya po or yung maid. Yung uh, nagsilbing yaya ni Rizal when he was uh, still a young boy. So, since uh, there is isn't behind but nag-hired po, so sabi ko sa inyo nung last meeting, um, uh, the reason behind bakit nag-hire ng yaya ang parents ni Rizal is because Gato si Rizal is a fragile boy. So, he's a sick, uh, sickly boy and at the same time, uh, kailangan ng mga magulang ni Rizal nang titingin sa kanya habang wala sila, habang may sa trabaho, habang may ginagawa na po. So, this is also one of the biggest uh, impact pagdating sa imagination and creativity ng mind ni Rizal because of the stories of his yaya. Kasi this old woman, uh, when Gato Sarizal is uh, left alone to his muse, um, kunekwentohan siya nung yaya niya about sa mga uh, fantasies. So let's say, um, nandito na yung mga kwento about sa mga tikbalang, nunot sa punso, aswang, yung mga ganun. And some other stories na kahit siguro tayo, nakwentohan tayo nito ng mga ganitong klaseng uh, multo, ganon, mga ganong klaseng, ano. And Gato Sir Rizal uh, learned that kind of stories from his aya. Ano po? And another memories of Gato Sir Rizal was his childhood memories was the daily Angelus prayers. And as you remember, at habi ko nga sa inyo, at the age of three, Gato Sir Rizal already know how to pray the Angelus. So, he already know the sentence and then the prayer. Ano po? So, kabisado niya na yung with a nostalgic feeling, he also remembered the happy moonlight nights of at that in Azotea after the nightly rosary. So, doon kasi siya mahilig magtambay after the nightly rosary of his family. And according to his mother, majority or lagi, since Rizal is already know how to pray, uh, siya na yung pinaglilid ng mother niya. So, dito, sabi ko sa inyo, the I related to the Rizal's children, including Jose, Best of, ano, kasi talaga, kasi many stories about fairies, tales of buried treasures, and trees blooming with diamonds, and other fabulous stories. So, kasama na nga po dyan yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na uh, kwento about aswang, nulo, sa punso, and then tikbala. And the most terrible stories na narinig ni Rizal about sa, uh, to, at na pinento sa kanya, na kanyang yaya is the terrible burden and turban bumbay that, uh, it would uh, come in their house if Rizal, if Gato Sir Rizal didn't sleep at as as his 
during siesta time and then he would take uh, away ano po yun yun so isa din yun sa mga panakot na kanyang yaya sa kanya pag hindi si Rizal sumusunod pag ayaw niyong matulog sa hapon Okay, so another memory of his infancy was the nocturnal walk in the town, especially when there was a moon. And recounting his childhood experience, according to his uh, memoirs, he said or he wrote that, Thus my heart fed on the somber and melancholy thoughts, so that even while still a child, I already wandered on wings of fantasy in the high regions of the unknown. And... Gatos yung result also, bukod dun sa pagiging uh, ill yung bata niya sa kanyang aya, he is also a devoted son of church. And before we, I discuss this, is uh, let me introduce to you or let me share to you the first sorrow of our national day. If you remember that one of his sister, which is si Concha or si Concepcion, ano po, yung sumunod sa kanya, yung pangwalong anak po ni uh, Nanay Francis, uh, Tatay Francisco and then Nanay Chudora, na kung saan at the age of 3 na matay. So, this considered his died or yung pagkakamatay niya is the first, considered as the first sorrow of our national hero. Kasi, he played, eh, he played with her and at the same time, um, from her, he learned the sweetness and sisterly love according to Gato Serizal. Sweet daw po kasing bata si Concha. And, and according to his student memoir, makasulat doon, at the age of four, I was, uh, when I was a four years old, uh, I lost my sister Concha, and then the, the first time I shed tears caused by love and grief. So yung pighati na naranasan niyo during the time is, one of the unforgettable moments sa buhay po ni Rizal. Kasi sobrang po sila ng kapatid niya na babae. Okay, so as a Rizal uh, young boy, as a Rizal, Rizal young boy, he was very a religious boy. Since during the time kasi, uh, his family as shown Catholic clan, born and bred in a wholesome atmosphere of Catholicism. And they are possessed of an important spirit wherein he grew up as a good Catholic. So dito, at the age of three, he began... Uh, to take the part in the family prayers. And that is why his mother, who was a devout Catholic also, taught him the Catholic prayer. So, majority ng Catholic prayers got already know by our national hero. When he was uh, five years old, he was able to read the ha helping me the Spanish family Bible. So, dito, may kakayahan na po si Rizal when he was uh, five years old. Uh, nabasahin yung uh, Spanish uh, translation ng family Bible nila. And at the same time, he very loved to go to church. And in at, uh, dito, isa sa mga ano nito is to take parts, uh, being a church boy din, na tinatawag natin is, that was a result. When he was uh, going to church, he was taking part, some parts in novenas and joined religious procession. So this is one of the very happy of Gato Serizal when he was a Catholic. And it is said that as uh, Gato Serizal was a serious, devoted, uh, devoted Catholic. Ano po? So that is why ang tawag sa kanya ng mga hermano, hermosa, uh, hermana, tapos hermanos sa simbahan. Yun kasi yung tawag din sa ibang uh, tawag po ng mga deboto. So ang tawag nila kay Jose or kay Gato Serizal, even he was still a young boy, Mano Jose. Kasi nga daw napakaseryosong bata ni Rizal pagdating sa uh, usapang, usaping katoliko, something like that. So, his mother, who was a devoted, taught him Catholic prayer. So, nabanggit na yung kanina. One of the men he esteemed and respected in Palambo, Laguna during his childhood boy is, uh, was the scholar, the father, Leon Lopez. So, he was the town priest during the childhood days of Gato Serizal. And he used to visit this learned Filipino priest and listen to him, um, his stimulating opinions on current events and sound philosophy of life. So, isa po sa naging um, pundasyon ng pagiging um, ano ni Rizal de Boto ay si Father Leon Sean Lopez. So, we also have Okay, so na natin. And then there is an evidences na magpapatunay na si Rizal is talaga pong uh, fervent, 
Catholic spirit is saying, uh, or a very devoted child of a church, church is dito sa kanyang mga ginawa na iba pang tula. So, Al Nino Jesus, who joined in 1876, he also have alliance in the uh, buen education, and then Ala Virgen Maria. So, sinulat po yan ni Rizal during 1876. So, Rizal also a devoted son of church. And one, oh yun, nabanggit natin kanina. And aside from being a Catholic church or Catholic devoted of that as a result, he was also uh, going to Antipolo. Kasi nga, parte po ito no kanilang uh, pagdedeposyon at pangaako. Kasi isa din po ito sa reason kung saan, or bukod kay St. Joseph, naging devoted din dito yung mother niya. So, June 6, 1868, Jose and his father left Calamba to go on the pilgrimage of Antipolo. So, yearly yun nangyayari na bumibisita sila dito in order to fulfill his mother's vow, which was made when Jose was born. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na isa ito po sa mga santo na or places na pinagbiboto ni Mother Chodora or ni Nanay Chodora si Gato Serizal during his pregnancy. And it was the first of Jose Rizal across the Laguna Bay and his first uh, pilgrimage to Antipolo. So that is June 6, 1868. So he and father go the Casco, which is a barge, a type of barge during that time. And after praying at the shrine of Virgin of Antipolo, Jose and his father went to Manila. And it was the first time of Jose in Manila. So during 18, ano din yun? And Jose first teacher was his mother. So during the first education of our national hero, we considered or he considered that his first teacher, actually that is informal, ano po, informal schooling po ito. So his informal schooling was taught by his mother. And at the age of three, Jose learned the alphabet and prayers from his mother also. And he was patient and loving but strict as a tutor. So According to these um, student memoirs nga ni Rizal, even though yung mama niya is napaka malaping naman pagdating sa kanya or pagtuturo sa kanya, uh, dito na rin papasok yung panahon na medyo may pagkamahigpit na teacher yung mother niya. Kasi pag ayaw niya sumunod, it's either mapapalo siya ng chinelas, ano po, or tatak din siya ng mother niya. So, but before we proceed to this uh, topic, uh, let me give you an additional information about the earliest childhood memories or the influences of other family of our national hero and then some hereditary influences. So we have three types of influences on our hero's boyhood. Una, meron tayo yung hereditary influences. Pangalawa is the uh, environmental influences and then the three uncles and then some other um, influences came from other people. So, first is hereditary influences. So, according to Zaydes' book, uh, the Malayan ancestors of Gato Sir Rizal is uh, pinakang influential nito sa pagkataon ni Rizal ay inherited his love of freedom. So, this is one of the uh, thing na nakikita po ng mga historians natin sa pagkataon ni Rizal na yung pagiging um, pursuing of freedom ni Gato Serizal is maaring namanay niya din daw sa mga ancestor niya na bilang malayan. Kung matatandaan niyo na bang dito sa inyo, the mother side of our national hero or the maternal side is came from Malayan uh, ancestors or from Nakandula ancestors pa po. And then dito, his innate desire to travel also is came from Malayan ancestor and indu uh, indomitable courage. <coughs> And from his ancestors naman na Chinese, the serious nature, ano po yung pagiging seryoso yung pagdating sa mga bagay-bagay, and frugality, patience, and at the same time, the love for children. Kasi yung father side niya, ay paternal side niya is, kahit yung tatay niya eh, pinakita o pinaramdam talaga sa kanila yung pagkakaroon ng love for his children. And from his Spanish ancestor naman, he got the elegance of bearing and sensitivity to insult and gallantry to play this. So, this is one of the very um, amazing part pagdating sa pagkataon ni Rizal. He is very elegant. Ano po? Uh, despite of 
sinasabi niya mahirap lang sila na pamilya pero magaling siya magdala ng pananamit kaya naman ang dami sa kanya na kumaling babae according to the Anxiety's uh, book and sensitivity to insult. He is very sensitive pagdating sa pang-insulto po ng mga Spaniards from his uh, ancestors or kasi yung pagiging indio na sinasabi niya ang mga, ang mga Spaniards about Gato Sir Rizal is malaking impact yun kay Rizal o malaking insulto po yun. That is why pinilit niya talaga na magkaroon ng uh, kalayaan ng Pilipinas. And from his father naman, he profound sense of self-respect, the love for work, and the habit of the independent thinking. So, another is from his mother. So, religious nature, spirit of self-sacrifice, and passion for arts and literature. So, this is one of the very important thing na natutunan ni Rizal pagdating sa kanyang nanay. Yung pagiging religyoso, ano po, and then spirit of self-sacrifice that even his happiness, he are, he was ready rather, he was ready to sacrifice. Ano po, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, he still choose to travel abroad. Ano po, despite na andito yung loved ones niya, tiniis niya yun. And the passion for arts is very one of the biggest impacts sa pagkatao po ni Rizal from his mother. And most especially literature. Kasi hanggang sa ikamatay po ni Rizal, hanggang sa kamatay ni Rizal, literature yung isa sa mga bagay na talagang nagpakilala sa kanya sa atin. Which is until now, through his um, works, through his novels, poems, doon natin siya nakikilala. Kung anong klase yung pagkatao meron siya at kung anong avid curiosity meron si Rizal during his lifetime. And we also have the influen um, environmental influences. So, unang-una -una dito yung scenic beauties of Kalambalaguna. Yung kagandahan na, na kinamulatan ni Gato sa Rizal during his boyhood. And then, beautiful garden of Rizal, which is, it is in, in stimulated the inborn characteristic and literary talents of Gato sa Rizal. And also, religious atmosphere, their home has fortified his religious nature. And his brother, Pashano naman, uh, he is the one who instilled his mind pagdating sa love for freedom and justice. So, the very first person that, um, kumaga nagtatak sa isip ni Rizal, ng pagmamahal sa bansa, of yung nationalismo concept is ang kanyang kapatid na si uh, Kuya Pashano. And then, from his sister naman, he learned to be courteous and kind to woman. Yung respect ni Rizal pagdating sa mga kababaihan, bukod sa naman niya po yan, sa kanyang mga Spanish ancestors, he also loved or being kind and um, gentleman to women. To every woman he will met is naman niya sa mga kapatid niyang babae kasi nga, dadalo lang naman silang lalaki. So, from his aya naman, he is the one, he or he is another one who awakened his interest pagdating sa mga folklore and legends. So, yung mga sinasabi nga natin kanina na uh, his aya is the one who taught his about Big Balang, Nuno sa Punso, about Bumbay, and then some other fantasies. Ano po, yung mga princes, prinsesa, prinsipe, mga ganun. So, yung yaya niya yung isa sa mga nagkwento sa kanya about that. And then, we also have three uncles of our national hero that taught him in different field. field. So, these three uncles escaped from his maternal, which is the brothers of his mother. So, we have Tito Jose Alberto, which is, he developed uh, Gato Serizal's artistry ability. So, pagdating dun sa art, nas nadagdagan yung kaalaman niya, bukod sa naturuan siya ng kanyang nanay, is dinagdagan pa po ito ng kanyang Tito Alberto, or Jose Alberto, na kung saan through paintings, tinuruan siya. And then, Tito Manuel naman is the husky and athletic man of, uh, uncle of Gato Serizal. So, dito, he taught Gato Serizal uh, he developed his frail body by means of physical exercise, including horse riding, walking, and wrestling. Kaya naman si Gato Serizal, he has a little information or little knowledge about wrestling and um, pistol shooting. So, nabanggit na natin ito dun sa mga previous topics natin. So, next is Tito Gregorio, which is a book lover. So, he is the one who taught Gato Serizal or um, helped Gato Serizal to become intensified his vocations reading and of good books. That is why si Gato Serizal, very passionate siya pag, sa, pagdating sa pagbabasa ng mga libro. Si Father Leon Shul Lopez naman, he fostered Serizal's love for scholarship and intellectual honesty. 
So, isa siya sa mga tumulong kay Rizal sa pagpapahalaga po ng scholarship and intellectual honesty, yung katapatan. And we also have the so-called Spanish abuses, which is, it is one of the reasons why Gato Cerezo awakened his spirit of patriotism and inspired him to concentrate or uh, concentrate his life and talents to redeem his oppressed people. Para tubusin tayo lahat or let's say, para tulungan tayong lahat to reach the, uh, their, uh, our freedom. Now, which is until now, meron naman tayo na. Because of the una-una na dapat natin ipapasalamat is from our heroes. And uh, among them is our national hero, Gata Serenza. So, uh, let's now back here in the PowerPoint presentation. So, additional about the first education from his mother is he gave her all love and all that she learned in college and but when she misbehaves his pocketed with her sleepers so this is one of the very medyo nakakatawang parts sa childhood memories ni Gato Serizal na we are thinking that Gato Serizal is a complete boy na matalino, mabait, mabuting anak, something like that but he also experienced those um, memories na nananasan din natin when, he, when we are um, young, a young people, young men, young women, ano po, na kapag hindi tayo sumusunod sa utos ng mga magulang natin, or we are uh, misbehaving um, from our parents, uh, we are punished, uh, we have punishments. And get us a result also have that kind of punishments. And ito na nga, pinapalo siya ng, sa, uh, ng chinelas ng kanyang nanay. And notwithstanding the weeping admins by Donna Chudora, Jose loved his mother and was appreciated by of many things he learned from her. So, eto, nabanggit na natin ito kanina. So, yun yung sasabi ko, Uncle Gregorio was a book lover. That is why he got Gato Serizal to become a book lover also. So, and we have the school days of Gato Serizal in Binyan, Laguna. So, Rizal was given further instruction by his private tutors. So, una niya naging um, maestro po ay si Maestro Celestino and later on, Maestro Lucas Padua. Si Maestro uh, Celestino, according to Zaydo's book, um, naging teacher niya ito. Uh, sumunod po dito si um, Maestro Leon Monroy, who had been a classmate to give Rizal a first lesson in Latin. Latin. Okay, so Don Francisco was not discouraged by loss of the private tutor. So he heard that the good teacher who was running a private school in Binyan Laguna and being eager to give his son, Gatos Rizal, a good education, he decided to send Gatos Rizal in the town of um, Binyan Laguna. So doon na nagkaroon ng first formal schooling si Rizal when he, wa when he goes to Binyan. So, one Sunday afternoon in June 1870, Jose, after kissing the hands of his parents and tearful parting from his sister, left the Calamba for the first time to go in Binyan, Laguna, to attend his classy, eh, class. So, the two brothers rode in a caromata, reaching their destination after one and one half hour of driving. Ano po? And the first day in Binyan, Laguna, he was, uh, the next day, Pashano brought his uh, younger brother to the school of Maestros Dignano Aquino Cruz. So the first teacher of Gata Serizal in, for, in formal schooling is Maestro Dignano Aquino or Aquino Cruz. Okay, so the school was in the house of the teacher and which was a small nipa hat about 30 meters from Jose's aunt's home. Immediately, Jose was assigned his seat in the class, and the teacher asked him, Do you know Spanish a little, sir? Uh, the La Calamba lad uh, replied, A little, sir. Do you know Latin a little, sir? So, dito, Jose described his teacher as the follows. So, he was a tall, thin, long-necked man, uh, with sharp nose and body bent slightly forward. He 
usually wore Sena Mai shirt woven by skillful hands of the Batangueñas. So, uh, he knew by heart the grammars of Nibriha and Gainza at the severity, which to my mind was excessive, and you have the picture I have of him. So, in the afternoon of his first day in the school, when the teacher was having his siesta, Jose met the bully Pedro. So, hindi lang tayo yung ganitong nakaranas ng mga ganitong klaseng bullying, but Gato Cerezal also felt or encountered this kind of bully. So, Jose challenged Pedro to a fight. Since Gato Cerezal know um, little things about wrestling, he fight Pedro. The two wrestled furiously in the classroom match the glee of their classmate. So, ito na yung first brawl ni Gato Cerezal. After class afternoon, a classmate named Andres Lacondanan Danan, uh, challenged him to an arm wrestling. So, in succeeding days, he had uh, other fights with boys of Binyan. He was not quarrelsome by nature, but he never ran away from a fight. So, according to Zayda's book, Kato si Rizal is a kind of boy na hindi naman talaga siya kalaway. Pero si Rizal daw yung isang klase ng bata na hindi umaatras sa anong mga laban. Parang ganang klase ng uh, mga motos in life. And Gato si Rizal also learned painting lessons in Binyan. So near the school was the house of an old painter called Huangko. So Don Huangko po yung talagang usual yung tawag sa kanya. Who was the father-in-law of the school teacher of his school teacher. So, tatay po siya, or father-in-law po siya ni Justiniano Cruz. So, Jose Lord, uh, Lord, his love for painting, spent many leisure times in painter studio. So, pag wala siyang pasok, andito siya sa studio nung pintor. So, Jose and his classmate, Jose Guevara, who was also a love painting, uh, also loved paintings, became apprentice of the old painter. They improve their art so that they, in due time, they become the favorite painters of the class. So, at the end of Binyan schooling, time week came when Jose learned all uh, that Maestro Costiniano could teach him. According to the teacher, he informed his parents that he should be sent to college in Manila. So, dito na po nag-decide ang parents ni Gato Cerezal na pwede siya sa Manila. So, during December 1871, Jose received a letter from his sister, Sotoinina, informing him that the arrival of the steamer Tallinn, which would take him from Binyan to Palamba para mag-uwi na siya. Kasi tapos naman na yung formal schooling niya sa Binyan, Laguna. So, dito, he left Binyan on Saturday afternoon, uh, December 17, 1871. He thrilled to take pass, uh, passage on the steamer Tallinn, so it was the first time. He rode on a steamer. So, dito on a board, French, uh, Frenchman named Arturo Angs, a friend of his father, took care of him. Upon arrival in Calamba, Jose was welcomed home by his parents, brother, and sister. So, that will be the end of my presentation. If you have questions, you can ask me and DM me on my Facebook account. So, it's already posted on our stream and i already give you my informations about this so thank you for listening and that would be all for this lesson goodbye